Hey guys, it's your boy MTG Unveiled. Here to open up a couple holiday treats. Let's see if I get that spice. Got some Commander Legends 3-pack and 4-pack of Jumpstart. Jumpstart's been really good to me lately. And Commander Legends has been pretty bad except for uh, some packs I got from some fellow YouTubers. Back and Packs MTG and Alt underscore MTG. Both wonderful souls. You should give them a give them a subscribe. Like their content, share. You won't regret it. Alright. Trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter. Last one was like 10 minutes for a few packs. Nobody wants that, so. Comes with this little guide on kind of on the Thrice packs. <clears throat> Looking for that jeweled lotus. I'd be unhappy with a hull breacher. I do not have opposition agent. I do not have a managerine. I do not have. Vampiric Tutor. Quite a large list of things that I don't have from this set. Or in general. So, just go through commons pretty quick because everybody's seen them. It's funny how much these cards slide around versus stuff I'm used to. Should have been new Phyrexia with the Phyrexian oil. I do love this little snake. <coughs> Gotta add it to my Azuri deck. And these come in tap, but in a way they're, they're good. Kinda. I mean, this one's better. Doesn't come into play tap. One more mana. Alright. Under the Uncommons Ingenuity Engine. Then we have cast down. Oh, three visits. All right, I feeling. I'm feeling the lotus. Let's see. Is it a mythic? It is not. The chronic hex. You know, <clears throat> I'll take it. Three visits is definitely a glorious card. The chronic hex, and we got Keskit, the flesh sculptor, Ghost of Ramirez, DiPietro, fencing ace, and we got a zombie. Let me organize these piles a little bit better so I can. I don't think I actually had the ghost either. It's just an uncommon, but. <clears throat> My collector's box, I got three foil revisits, two extended. And I pawned those off for about 17 bucks a piece and 12 bucks for the other one. The one not full art. They did make some really good downshifts. Um, when I'm able to play in person, MTG, like actual paper magic playing with these cards, I think I'm going to get into Popper. It seems like a lot of fun. I started playing in the early 90s. And honestly, basically what it was. I mean, the rares were on commons nowadays are worse. <laughs> Good old force of nature. Daring Saboteur. Patron of the Valiant. Ember Wild Captain. Eh, I'll take it. I guess what choice do I have, right? Got the beautiful Elemental Lizard. Oh, Nostro. He's good. And a foil fertilid. <laughs> and the hideous prismatic piper that I don't know if I'll ever actually have a use for. Like an actual commander adding this in wouldn't add anything to my deck. But it's just a little spare card in the back, so. Alright, haven't hit anything too fiery yet. Maybe the rain fair continues that I won't get Hellbreacher, opposition, opposition Agent. The Lotus or the Drain. One can hope. 
my friend uh, alt underscore mtg actually just pulled an insanely good pack that you should really go watch uh, one of his most recent videos he's an extremely kind soul too he actually shipped me a collect uh, commander legends collector's booster and some draft packs just for subscribing and liking his content yeah, and i have him on facebook we talk quite a bit it's nice Hunter's Insight. Gotta find more uses for that card. I have a lot of artifacts that do the same thing, though, so instead of having an instant, I can have an artifact to keep drawing cards, but get my Fraley stack, I can get my creatures up to infinite power, so I guess I could draw out my deck. Kinda need a Jace or something, then. Alright, come on, is it a myth? Oh, it is. It's blue. What is it? Oh, God. Sphinx of the Second Sun. This is my fourth copy. I mean, it's a decent card, but I could use a little bit of a change up, Wizards. Ooh, Kirk the Thumbless also. He's pretty spicy. Could either be a really good game with him or really lame. Oh, a Mythic. Wow. So I got Kirk. And I got a Chroma, so I got a double Mythic pack. <laughs> and a rare. Okay, I had to look at the back. Just a common foil. So check that out. Got double Mythic. I didn't have a Chroma either. She's beautiful. Double Mythic pack with a rare. So that's definitely my god pack for this set. I am very happy with that. All right, on to these bad boys. I'm looking for from here would be the unicorn deck. I would love a Gisa. Uh, the Millen deck would be nice. And I could al always use Heuristic Study. <clears throat> All right, there's those four packs. Here we go. Is oh, <laughs> oh serious. All right, <laughs> first pack, baby. Oh man, so it's fire either way. Oh, crater hoof behemoth, baby. That is beautiful. I just recently pulled the Allosaurus Shepherd. I didn't get it on video. And alt underscore MTG is like, you gotta tape it or it didn't happen. So I took his advice. You know, I'm glad I did. Didn't get the Allosaurus, but... Honestly, Crater Hoof, I needed that more. Oh, and then you get the Elvish Arch Druid too. What a beautiful pack. And just a bunch of absolute delights. This with a uh, Midnight, uh, not Midnight Rider. Midnight Guard, I think. You can create infinite tokens. My friend Mark has tried to do it infinite. Like, he's tried it so many times. We played thousands of games together. He hasn't gotten it yet because I shut it down. He <laughs> sends it from a mile away. But if your opponent can't sense it, you do a lot of shenanigans with it. And oftentimes, it you simply can't shut it down. All right. Beautiful Battle Bond land, and then we're on to Common Lands from M21. Well, that was really unexpected. That's nice, because Trader have pretty much pays for everything here. Just on its own. Right, what do we got? We got lightning. I don't honestly remember what's in this. Bought in a booster box and quite a few just like standalone boosters or little packs like these. And I don't know if I've seen this one. The box I bought. Whew. It had seven spooky decks. It was like all repeats. It was super strange. 
Ball lightning, okay. And lightning phoenix. That's pretty good. Ball lightning gets a lot of hate, but you know, Omnath deck, elemental tribal. I mean, th three red for trample haste. Pretty good. Um, in fact, with Commander Legends, I think you can end the end step with that new commander and keep ball lightning. Oh, and it comes with chain lightning too. Okay, that's, that's a good pack. I'll take it. Again, what choice do I have? Just checking through these because oftentimes in this set, for whatever reason, there's misprints and they can be worth a fortune. I had a misprint goblins deck. That sold for 500 bucks, which I found crazy. But the market's huge on that. All right, just Thriving Blush, the mountain. Thriving Bluff. And a bunch of basic mountains. Gonna be, I'm guessing, feathered friends. Legion. And with the new wave of jumpstart, it feels like I'm getting all the decks that I didn't have before. What does Legion have? Huh, I didn't have this. Blessed Sanctuary. Prevent all non combat damage will be dealt to you and creatures you control. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white unicorn creature token. Wow. That's a... That's an OP card. <laughs> Honestly. Beautiful artwork by Anastasia Uvichnikova. Probably massacred the name, but... Brilliant. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to put it in the Mythic Pile. That'll go into my Orzov enchantment deck. Well, it's kind of a pain deck. I use Campbell as the commander. And then got some different things here. Wow, path to exiles in here even. Okay, this is a this is a good day for MTG, I'm telling you. By the way, any sellers out there, uh, be very aware of very high shipping pr uh, prices. Shipped a 17 pound package uh, through the postal service today and it was 60 bucks. Like, oof. A lot higher than I remember. Even recently. And basic lands. All right, I'm really hoping for milling. Can I get it? It is, huh, I don't even, I know I got this before, but I got the same card over and over, and I don't remember what it was. I think you can get, well, reanimate, of course. Can you get Gisa, uh, cool color Gisa in here? Let's find out. Rise of the Dark Realms, wow, two mythics. That's beautiful. Look at it. Wow. Alright, and then a bunch of uh, extra beautiful little things. So for a four pack of Jumpstart, that's 16 bucks. That's insane. Rise of the Dark Realms. Crater Hoof Behemoth. And this beautiful Blessed Sanctuary. Alright. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure to give me a subscribe, like, uh, share my content if you want. It really helps us. We're just a small guy. <laughs> when I have product open, I like to share it. Happy Holidays.